The air bubble shimmered with rainbow hues. The drops of liquid became tiny creatures called plankton. The plankton born in the golden light floated upward and transformed into jellyfish. Do you know what jellyfish are? Have you ever seen them? I've seen them. I've seen them too. Yeah, just don't get stung by them. <laughs> It was Fujimoto's dream to restore the abundant life that had once flourished in the ocean, long before the birth of humankind. And that's us, we're humans. As Fujimoto worked, a porthole on the side of the submarine opened. A small face peeked out. Who's that? It was a little goldfish girl. She swam out, keeping an eye on Fujimoto. Her many little sisters swam along behind her. Shh! said the goldfish to her sisters. Quiet or he'll hear us. Here's Fujimoto, like, what's going on here? The goldfish girl kissed all of her sisters goodbye and set off for her voyage. <laughs> she got inside a tiny jellyfish and landed softly on the back of a larger one. She floated gently upward with a cluster of jellyfish. Beams of moonlight shone through the blue ocean ceiling. Looking up through the surface, the fish girl saw the moon. See the moon? When does the moon come out? Very good. Sometimes you could see a little bit in the daytime if you look really close. Yeah. She smiled and with a sigh of relief, she closed her eyes. I saw the last I had that book last time. Oh yeah? You've read Ponyo before? It's a good book, right? And this is the chapter, The House on the Cliff by the Sea. The next morning, the girl fish woke up and poked her face out of the water. Up on a cliff, she saw a house with a red roof. It was Sosuke's house. Sosuke came running out of the house, carrying his favorite toy boat. He ran down the side of the cliff. The little girl fish had never seen a human boy before. As she gazed up at the boy, small fish started splashing around her. They seem to be trying to get away from something. What could it be? What do you think? The boat. All right, let's see. Maybe it is the boat. She turned to see a fishing boat barreling toward her. Oh no, thought the girl fish. I have to get away. And it is the, boat. the fishing boat dragged a net alongside the bottom of the sea, scooping up garbage and mud along with the fish. I know, you were very smart. The little girl fish swam for her life and straight into a glass jar. That's not good, she's stuck. She was caught in the net, jar and all. Flail, squirm! Finally, she managed to escape from the net, but the jar would not come off. She struggled to swim, but got weaker and weaker. Poor little Ponyo. You think someone will help her? I knew it. <laughs> when Sosuke got to the bottom of the cliff, he went to the water's edge and stopped. Huh? He thought. Something in the water caught his eye. What's that? He thought. Sosuke walked into the sea and picked it up. It was a jar with a red fish jammed inside. A goldfish, he whispered. He tried to pull the fish out of the jar, but it was stuck. Get, get it out. As Sosuke headed back to the cliff with the jar in the hand, a menacing wave appeared. Weird. The wave oozed and slithered towards Sosuke, then splashed at the rocks by his feet. As the wave retreated, two eyes watched the boy intently. What do you think that is? Oh, I knew it was. <laughs> That's a big creature. I don't know. <laughs> Sosuke smashed the jar with the rock. Crack, crack, crack. The glass cracked and the jar broke. The goldfish lay limp and he did not move. Ow! cried the boy. He cut his thumb on the glass. He licked his thumb, then scooped up the fish with both hands. It looks kind of dead, he said. He cradled the fish and peered down at it. Suddenly, the fish licked the blood off his finger. It licked me, the boy cried. It's alive! So she's okay. 